When I tell people that I'm going to be living 130 kilometers offshore in the North Sea, I, I tend to get some funny looks. Just going to be the biggest offshore wind farm in the world. We're going to generate enough renewable energy to power 5 million UK homes. The Doggerbank wind farm is currently being installed about 130 to 150 kilometres off the northeast coast. It's currently in the construction phase. It's being used by Equinor, SSE and Vagron, who are the joint owners of the project, to develop the world's largest offshore wind farm. This building is very much the onshore hub of the operational phase of the project. So all of the people, all of the vessels, all of the equipment, tooling will all come through this facility. The control room where we are now really is the heart of all the operations. It's going to control four separate vessels. Each will be deploying teams to different assets that we have. We have 277 wind turbines offshore and three offshore platforms as well. And this control room is going to have an overview of all of that. The wind farm of the scale of Dogger Bank and the distance offshore, it's critical that you have an SOV for uh, service and maintenance. So an SOV is a service operations vessel. We're currently on board the Grampian Tyne. We're sat on the bridge. She's a, an 80 metre vessel. It's also a logistics warehouse and hub for the wind farm out in the field. And it's also home to the crew and the technicians on board as well. Technicians will run a two weeks on, two weeks off rotor, so two weeks at work, two weeks at home. Obviously, you've got to bear in mind that two weeks out there can be a long time. The SOV use state-of-the-art technology, such as hybrid electric power, and also a walk-to-work gangway system. It's essentially like a bridge that's designed to transfer technicians over to the turbines in sometimes quite extreme weather conditions. It's going to be the world's largest turbine, I believe, currently in, uh, in operation, so no room to be scared of heights at all. Like. It's important to focus not just on the, the operational aspects, but the well-being and the, the care for the people who are working and living out there. The operation and maintenance building is a hive of activity at the moment. Because the first power milestone is approaching through summer, what that means is installation of the first turbines off, offshore. So the scale of this project is, is difficult to comprehend. The overall capacity when we have 277 of these turbines up and running will equate to 5% of the UK's electricity demand. This operation maintenance base being in South Tyneside on the Port of Tyne is just amazing, it's creating so many long-term jobs. My parents are very proud to know that I'm, I'm kind of going to be at the forefront of this energy revolution and in even better kind of locally to where we live. To be able to be in my local area delivering a project of this scale on my doorstep with the team of people that we have from the northeast working here, it can't be beaten.